and you have door all of Islam is based on ritual before you do a prayer you have to wash your feet you have to wash etc I mean what kind of God he cannot accept you as you are you will make God and 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 holy even Muhammad he said if a person he fought why why a Muslim he fought by the way according to Muhammad Muslims they do fart during the prayer because shaitan he take hair from his ass I mean have you ever heard of a scientific prophet more than Muhammad shaitan take hair from your ass okay you pray five times a day hmm I want a Muslim to call me right now and swear by Allah that he feel that somebody playing with his ass, his anus specifically, taking hair from there during the prayer. If you don't feel that, that's when your prophet is a liar. Any Muslim want to bear witness for this? Let me find the hadith. Thank God I'm not a Muslim, man. I don't want anyone to touch me there. Shaitan, he take hair from your ass. And by the way, Muslims, why you don't translate those hadith? I mean, why, why we don't find them in uh, in English? I mean, are you trying to hide something? Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Hadith number one one. I will post the link for you guys. One one five zero two. Hmm? The book name Musnadu Ahmad. The Prophet said. إن صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الشيطان يأتي أحدكم وهو في صلاته فيأخذ شعرة من دبره فيمدها فيرى أنه قد أحدث فلا ينصرفنا حتى يسمع صوتا أو يجد ريحا Translation The Prophet said that Satan he come to each one of you when he is in his prayer and he take a hair, a single hair from his anus, from Dibrihi, from his anus, and he straight the hair out, like he's now he's pulling it, right? You know, like he, was, he maybe he put his foot in your ass, and now he is holding the hair, and he is uh, trying to pull it out. And he straight it out, taking it off. And then he see, which means he witness, that he, which means the Muslims, he farted, but the shaitan still will not leave unless it's confirmed to him until he see, until he hear your fart and he smell it. Do you believe it? This is a prophet of God. Do you really Muslims believe in this garbage? Shaitan taking hair from your anus? Okay, how many hair in your anus you have? If shaitan take one hair every time you pray, at least one hair, to, until and do you fart each time you pray, Muslims? Be honest with me, huh? Oh, I have the the book there. Hold on, I keep forgetting those things. Any comment? That is Islam. Stupidity versus stupidity. There's nothing. There's no. There's. There's nothing intelligence in this religion. It is based on stupidity. Now, who is the Muslim one? The Hadith in Arabic. Who of you want the Hadith in Arabic, guys? About Shaitan taking hair from the anus of the Muslims. Nobody want it? Okay. 
I was going to give it to you I'm afraid I'm afraid my friend this is one of the reasons uh, if I, I don't want to convert to Islam imagine you convert to Islam to worship Allah and what happens shaitan play with your anus look at this cult Muhammad he said when you go in the bathroom if you don't say the name of Allah shaitan and his wife they play with your anus I mean there is there is a terror of the anus everywhere look like shaitan doing that only to Muslims there's a video actually in uh, we we played before in YouTube uh, about what shaitan do to you when you enter the bathroom if you don't say the certain prayer you have to say a certain prayer otherwise shit you will be invisible if you say the prayer shaitan cannot see you at all you will become invisible totally I mean I'm, this is what they believe and the sheikh in the in the video he said this is the hadith says the hadith says that which means don't say I'm stupid it's the prophet who said that so shaitan when you enter the bathroom he play with your anus shaitan you are playing you are praying now shaitan play with your anus if you are having sex with your wife, Shaitan, he round himself around your penis and he will be the one doing your wife. This is Islam. And this is the link for those who like to save it in reference. For Shaitan taking hair from the anus of Muslims. If I am a Muslim, the first thing I would do before I convert to Islam, I will put insurance over my anus. And I will make the insurance company Pay money for every hair I lose. Shaitan sleep in your nose. I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. Look what Muhammad said, guys. Look like the, the every hole in the in the body of a Muslim is a target. The anus, Shaitan play with it. He take hair. The anus, Shaitan, he put his screwdriver. Even he go inside your anus when you go in the bathroom. He black it. Shaitan, he sleep in your nose. Shaitan, he go inside your mouth and he piss there. Shaitan, he piss in your ears. I mean, what's wrong with, with Muhammad? There is no hole is left. Shaitan, he lick your belly bomb. Shaitan, round yourself, round himself around your penis. Like, what the heck? And this is the amazing Prophet Muhammad. If this is amazing, what is the stupidity he is about? If this is what is amazing, and not only that, Muhammad he continued like as an example, he, he says that uh, Shaitan he fought. What the heck? Muhammad he have a PhD in farting and bathroom. When Shaitan hears the call to prayer, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Okay, what Shaitan is doing? He turned his back and break winds. What? <laughs> are you sure, Muhammad? Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Prophet Muhammad, are you sure? Shaitan, he break. I, sh I now I know why the beans are expensive sometimes because Shaitan is eating beans. How he can get all this farting from? I mean, imagine how many Muslims are praying. Shaitan, he break winds. Each time the Muslims they are praying, is that explaining why the mosque smells so bad? Is that explaining why the Kaaba smell bad? You will find around the Kaaba two guards, and they are they have a perfume in their hand. They spray, not the one you use in the bathroom. You know, because it smells disgusting. People are sweating. I mean, you can imagine. And now we have additional reasons. Shaitan is farting. I mean, look at this conspiracy. You see how evil the Shaitan Shaitan fought. The poor Muslim he want to worship God. Shaitan fought, which means there's a connection between the fart of the devil and the Allah name. You say Allah, Shaitan fought. Shaitan fought. You say Allah. I mean, this is holiness. What else? If I tell you what Muhammad said about Shaitan, you will not believe it. Shaitan sleep in your nose. In your nose? I mean, the poor Shaitan, he could not find a room in Las Vegas hotel or sleep between maybe uh, 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 like the arms of, of the most beautiful women. He is sleeping in my nose. My nose. Why? How big the Shaitan is? Any Muslim can tell me. 
according to you Muslims how big mr. shaitan to the point he sleep in my nose any Abdul this is why Muhammad he ordered the Muslims That when you wake up from sleep, you have to blow your nose three times. Why? Let me try to find the hate for you in our in English. Here we go. Allah Apostle breathe upon him said when any of you wakes up from the sleep reform evolution He must clean his nose three times. We see that the Christians are the Trinity people, right? Why three times? What, what do you mean three times? Why three times? For the devil spend the night inside his nose <laughs> Evolution. What is the purpose of this evolution? Is to kick the nose, to kick the shaitan from the nose. I mean, this is this is this is God. This is must be God. Who who told Muhammad this information? Allah, brother. There is nobody. This is the unseen. Only Allah knows the unseen, and this is a news given to Muhammad from the God of Islam, Allah. And you are telling me Islam is not a true religion? How Muhammad he knew that shaitan sleep in your nose? How many of you ever heard this before? Nobody. I'm going to install a security camera in the front of my nose. Ah, I saw an article the Muslim they say that the Prophet the Prophet uh, he ordered the Muslims it's about uh, the hygiene look 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 at the Muslims fabrication uh, they say the Prophet he forbid us from sneezing or yawning without putting our our hand on our mouth And they say this is because of hygiene. Is that true, Muslims? Or this is a lie? Is that really the reason? Or because shaitan, he piss in your mouth if you open it. You see how they fabricate they try to make what Muhammad said about putting your hand in the front of your mouth is about science when the fact it is about shaitan he piss inside you he piss in your mouth he go inside you actually not only in your mouth let me see if I can find the hadith in English here too the problem in this website they they they, they don't translate all the hadith especially the very stupid ones extreme stupid ones and here we go we can't find it um, let us see if we can find it still Let us try something else.
Oh, this one is about shaitan. He pissed in your ears. And by the way, this is proven to be scientifically correct. Muhammad is ex explaining here why sh why you find wax in your ears. What is the explanation for the wax? And because Muhammad is connected to God, and he is the only one who can give you answers which is absolute true, he got the answer. Because shaitan, he urinate in your ears, and this is proven to be scientifically correct. Uh, let us see. Why you do yawning? Why people do yawning? Muhammad have a scientific explanation for the yawning. Yawning is from shaitan. Because he wanna gain, you know, he wanna go and get inside you. He wanna piss in your mouth. The prophet said, Allah likes sneezing and dislike yawning. Have you ever heard of a God he likes sneezing? Do you have cold? If you have cold, right now you are making Allah happy. Actually, once, this is many years ago, I opened a chat room in Pal Talk. It's called, Let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. This is the only God who likes sneezing. He loves sneezing. <laughs> Achoo. Allah now is so happy. He's, he's, he's happy. He's excited. Allah is so excited now. You sneeze, Allah have a party. You yawn, Allah is crying. He's yawning. <laughs> Allah, he, this, it says Allah dislike yawning. What it, what it does mean, dislike yawning? Explain to me, Muslims. When you say somebody dislikes something, Isn't it that make me believe that Allah he get upset when we do yawning? And why Allah he do dislike yawning? Any Abdul? You see, the Muslims, they are blind following a blind. Muhammad, he says something that's it. Nobody want to say to himself, what is this stupid thing? How Muhammad is a prophet in saying this? Yawning. Is an alarm from your body. Your body speak to you. Your body give you alarm, the same as the car. You have a light for the engine. You have a light for the oil. You have a light, etc. So your body give you signals. And yawning is not bad. It's your body giving you a signal that you are tired. You are sleepy. Sneezing is the same. What does this have to do with God? And what does this have to do with the shaitan? So now sneezing is from for, is, is Allah he like it and yawning is from the devil look what he said when any one of you say sneeze say alhamdulillah like what why it became obligatory upon every Muslim who hear him to respond and say yarhamukallah may Allah have mercy on you like why because he sneeze and then Muhammad he said Yawning is from the devil. What what? When one of you feel like yawning, he should restrain it. Fight it, my brother. Fight it. Don't uh, you lost. You did yawning. <sighs> How you do that? How you are a true believer and you are yawning now? How you do that? Shame on you. You are a good believer. You pray to Allah five times a day, and now you are yawning. How I'm going what I'm going to tell my friend now that I have a brother he do yawning? What if somebody took a selfie with you now when you are yawning? You will make the family look horrible because yawning is from the devil, and that's mean we have a devil in home. And you are talking about rituals and stupidity. Who have better collection of stupidity more than your prophet? You know, I would like to see some of you cutting this part, like we are speaking for the last 20 minutes, maybe about those stupid things. I would really appreciate it if some of you do some work and help us, like cut the videos and make it smaller and share it around. You know what I mean? 
I know not many people care for doing some work. You do not need to show your name. You can make a fake account in YouTube. Just make a video, share it. You know, do something. Do something to spread awareness between mankind. This religion is dangerous. Maybe we are laughing right now, but you will not be laughing when you see somebody coming with a knife to stab you in the restaurant. For no reason except that you he's a believing you are, you are an infidel. Yes, we are laughing at this cult, but this cult is dangerous. Extremely dangerous. In the name of this cult, thousands of people are getting killed every day. Every day. This is the devil. How you wanna how you wanna discuss with somebody he believe in this garbage? What you will say to him? What you will talk to him? What language we will use? What logic we will use? I give all my time to help people. Actually, all my day is to fight this cult. Like I finish now, I go to write back again about in my book. I'm trying to finish a book before I go to my coming trip. And by the way, we appreciate those people who help us in our in my trip, and they you know they help in donation because this is how you sponsor what we do. So I really appreciate people if they go and help us and they do uh, do their share if they can. The fight is big. And ignorance is the biggest disease a human being is suffering from. 